episode 153 of Flick, James Flick, your one and only movie reviewing secret agent. Today, I will be reviewing a dystopian sci-fi film that came out in 1984 that is based on the novel of the same name by George Orwell, and that is directed by Michael Radford, and that stars John Hurt and Susanna Hamilton, and that movie is 1984. Okay, so this book-based movie has just started, and so far we are seeing Winston Smith, our main character, played by the late John Hurt, writing in his diary about an alternate 1984. Of course, back then, it was an imagined version of it, and interestingly enough, the real 1984 was more than three decades ago. Now he and his friends are listening to the news on the telescreen. In the real 1984, telescreens weren't invented yet. I notice that he has been receiving little notes from Julia, a fellow outer party member played by Susanna Hamilton. He is now listening to flashbacks of then-imagined past events some of which I am glad they never happened in real life. Julia just told him that she loves him, and also that some parts of outside are not safe. I guess it must be because she wants what is best for him. He is also talking about fictional countries that never actually came to be known as, like Oceania and East Asia, and instead became regions of smaller countries. Mr. Smith is reading a book about a fictional language called Newspeak, that would be a tricky language for me to learn. He and Julia are both in the nude, embracing each other and enjoying their private times together. My goodness, they are being surrounded by the Thought Police, who are now taking them away. Not a good situation for them to be in. Wait a minute. Oceania has always been at war with Eurasia? In reality, the countries in both of these regions are mostly cooperative with each other. Mr. Smith now has his wrists all bonded up. That is a very torturous situation for him to be in. He is now being released from these bonds. That's a good thing since I wouldn't want to be in that kind of a situation either. 1530? The real name for that time would be 3.30 p.m. to be exact, but that's because there are 24 hours in a day and 12 hours each for both the a.m. and p.m. hours. In the end... He has now realized his admiration for Big Brother, the leader of his nation. Overall, 1984 is an excellent adaptation of the classic George Orwell novel. Join me next time when I review Fast Times at Ridgemont High. I'm Flick James Flick, your one and only movie reviewing secret agent out there.